twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are up above the world so high like the diamond in the sky hello amazing viewers thank you so much for joining me on my program once again i appreciate you wherever you are connecting from in the part of the world i say thank you so much for joining me and i'm here to bring you information on things happening in nigeria more especially among our celebrities among our actors and actresses and the nollywood so many are going on and some of us are not updated about the information on things that are happening so I try as much as I can to bring you things that are happening in Nigeria and air my opinion. You are free to give your own opinion also and at the end of it all we can be able to arrive at a reasonable conclusion. I want to bring to you this day an information on things happening in Nigeria, more especially among those of us in the comedy, Nollywood and uh, other activities in Nigeria. Today I want to talk about the issue of one of our social media do i call her influencer one of the active persons in social media known as ada jesus many of you must have seen the video of ada jesus that is what they call her, her name i don't actually know her real name but she is known popularly known as ada jesus online so ada jesus uh, she has been sick for some time and uh, she's been carried to so many places for her to regain her heart and it seemed to prove abortive and uh, a lot of things are happening and um, and that is us that we all know for some of us who know her know her that she talks carelessly she has steps on so many tools and many people are not happy with her she has really done some things that are not uh, acceptable online speaking to people disrespectfully abusing people accusing people falsely and all that maybe for the sake of popularity or maybe for the sake of views you know this is uh this is a very strange world the social media has made people now to lose control somehow you find people going to extreme to be able to get viewers to view them you see bloggers going to extreme doing things that are not right some telling lies in order to be able to attract people to their channels and uh, have a great view but well, it's not all that well. That is not a good idea because everything that goes around comes around. So from her kind of person and the way people know her, she steps on a lot of tools. And there are people who are known, the major ones that have been known that she has stepped upon is uh, one uh, popular pastor that people know, one uh, pastor they call Udumeje the Lion. One of the pastors that is very open on social media also so many people know him on social media he's acting on so many ways and doing some things that attract people to himself a very controversial pastor i can say so at that jesus came online and insulted him and said so many things against him that she was the one bringing people to him arranging miracle for him that they had a business and all that and they fall out sometime also there was a time she accused so many some people of kidnapping her meanwhile it was arranged things just to draw attention to herself all these things have been going on and the most painful thing is when she does all those things, she doesn't go back to apologize she pretends and see if those things she's saying are real she also went to the extent of also accusing one native doctor also chi marine and challenging native doctor openly called him a fake native doctor that he can't do anything that he go to hell and burn to ashes say the same word to Odumeje. these are people who are known to be spiritual man it doesn't matter you can call them fake you can call them original myself in particular i cannot be able to tell you that this person is fake or not it is not in our hand to judge to call somebody fake or real everybody is doing one thing or the other to survive in that very country called nigeria so you just got to stay on your own lane if you want to call people out be very careful and be sure of what you're saying if you're not sure of what they're saying there's no point diving into people's matter when you're not sure so this has been going on for a very long time and a lot of people have been coming into the issue apart from these two popular people she has also stepped on so many tools so many people who are online steady can testify to this so all of a sudden she fell ill you know and uh, 
it became so serious that they say she is having a kidney failure and all that and at a stage she came out online to apologize to all the people that she has offended that she is sorry that meanwhile that she has been sick having kidney failure for a very long time but it happens that the kidney failure has now developed more than uh, expected and now she is uh, ill that it wasn't that she is accusing anybody of being responsible for her illness that she has been sick for a very long time and she didn't do the needful but now it has gotten serious that was what she said when she came online to apologize then she said she apologized to everyone she has offended and she left then she was also asking for help that she wants to go for treatment for transplanting in india she wants to go and take treatment and all that people help people came around and donated to her people were rendering help some people that she offended came out and said i have forgiven her but uh, in that uh, forgiveness these two major people that he has forgotten the native doctor and the pastor in their own issue it needs that she has to go back there face to face to confess and also talk to them and apologize face to face people advise her to go to these people directly and apologize you don't just come to the social media and make a general apology she never went for those apologies until all of a sudden she surfaced online again the situation have grown beyond her now she can no longer talk she can no longer stand out she's being carried from places to places it become a serious issue now so what happened was that uh, in this time no one knew about her father all this while long all, all the while when things were going wrong where she was making all kinds of statements or not nobody knew about her parents they only knew about her husband her husband also had an issue with her also which came online they challenged each other abused each other online and her husband say what and she turns back says back to her to her husband so you can see she didn't have a very good reputation online she didn't have a very good uh, example so but when she fell ill people were also expecting the mother to show up the mother didn't show up it was the father that showed up the father now showed up with her first of all at the pastor's place the pastor that is Odumeje in his Odumeje church to apologize to Odumeje and his members she also insulted one of the members of Odumeje who is a very popular actress Rita Edoche that people know you know Rita Edoche the actress that all of us know she involved Peter Edoche, Edoche also insulted Peter Edoche, uh, Rita Rita Edoche in so many ways for going to the plan and so many things that she said about Rita Edoche which I'm not going to be mentioning now then she has to now the father has to now carry her now that she cannot talk she cannot walk she's just lying down and her body is swollen take her to the church back to go and apologize to the man of god Odumeje, and also the church and uh, Rita Edoche as well but on reaching there uh, the man of god uh, they call Odumeje the lion refused to accept her apology Rita Edoche also in that very church refused to accept her apology they said that she must go and provide those people that she said that she brought for them to make a fake miracle the people that she was arranging for them that she claimed that they paid her to go and arrange for them that she must have to go and provide those people before they can talk of forgiveness so the pastor said that he's not going to let, let go of her Rita Edoche says she's not going to let go of her until she goes back to bring those people that she claimed that they paid her to go and organize a fake miracle so the thing came online people were talking commentators came around they said the man is a pastor he is not supposed to act in that way he is not supposed to act in that manner that why wouldn't he forgive her he has to forgive her since she has come to render an apology then after then the father also took her to the native doctor Chi Marine temple took the man because the man took him said that he reported her to his own god which is the shrine and when the man was reporting her to the shrine he said until she is brought to the shrine and then he now reversed whatever he has done and she has to bring a goat that she can never be well that if she doesn't do that she that she's she's gonna lose her life so she was brought to this man's shrine and the chimarine temple himself after seeing her condition decided to forgive her he forgave her and reversed all the course he made laid on her reversed all the charm he laid on her and said that she is free that even gave money to support her to go for medical 
take up to continue her treatment now since she has gone here forgive her but if she did not come there is no amount of treatment that will be given to her that is going to work on her body that was what the native daughter told her now, it doesn't matter where you take her that since she has offended him and he has reported her to her his own god that take her to the best hospital in the world that whatever treatment they give to her cannot work but now that she has come that she is free that they can take her to hospital to give her treatment that she might be well but it's somehow the native doesn't say that it is too late also there is no guarantee that she's going to survive from the illness because had it been that she came when she can be able to speak by herself and confess by herself it will be much easier had it been that she can came when she was working when she was still falling a little bit sick when she can talk it would have been better but now that she's almost crossing the boundary that she ha he has no guarantee that she's going to survive but the most important thing that she has come that the cause he laid was going to affect her and her children including the family but now that she has come the cause have been broken that it's not going to affect the children not going to affect the family or anybody nobody's going to share from the cause and he has removed the cause from her also but it's left for his god to either save her or not to save her but he cannot give a guarantee of her safety because she's almost gone. So these are two different issues, two different major actors in this very problem where this lady got in herself involved in. So when you look at the situation, people keep on talking. Commentators came out, they blamed the pastor. From blaming the pastor, some extended it to Christianity and say that is a bad example that him being a Christian, that we look at the people they call Christians, the way they behave, people they call pastor, they couldn't even forgive. Even when Christ has been preaching forgiveness and Christ himself is forgiveness himself. So when you say you are a Christian, you're supposed to forgive. Then they laid the example also when people are castigating the traditional religion, say the traditional religion is bad. But in this case, the traditional religious man was the person that forgave her and even gave his own money and gave her go ahead to get well. You see, people keep on saying that. But my own personal view, see, in this very issue, there are lessons to learn. There are great lessons to learn in this very issue, in this very problem and thing that happened to Ada Jesus. There are great lessons to learn. One of the lessons we have to learn is that it doesn't matter where you are, you have to be very careful the way you talk to people. You might say it's just online, you might say you are joking, you might say you are just making it to draw attention to yourself, to win viewers, or whatever selfish interest you are saying those lies for. It is not everybody that can take your lies, that can listen to what you are saying and let go of it. Some people do not forgive easily. Some can forgive, some will not forgive easily. There are people who cannot let go. There are people who cannot bear what you will say. Sometimes certain things you say can make people take their own life, can make people commit suicide. So those of us that are online, if you're a blogger, whatever you are online, broadcasting online, you have to be very careful the way you talk to people and be very cautious about the information you bring out. If you are not sure of your information, do not put it out there. If you are not sure of your information, at least 80% sure, do not put that information out there. Or if you are putting your information, say allegedly. Use that word allegedly so that people will not hold you responsible. Some of us take everything for granted. You come out online, you abuse people, you say things that you are not sure of. At the end of the day, when the results come, you cannot stand it. You cannot stand it. This is a lesson for all of us. Now. The lady in, in, in question, Ida Jesus, is seriously ill. Nobody knows who is responsible for her illness or what is responsible. But one thing is clear that every hand is pointing to her attitude towards people. That so many people are not happy with her. People are not, she has offended a lot of people, stepped on a, stepped on a lot of toes. And most times she told lies against people. Most of those people have cried before their gods on their own ways. These are only two people that like, that came out that are well known. That is why people are talking about it. Udumeje and uh, and the Chimarin, Chimarin Temple. These are two people that are very popular that people are talking about. There might be some other hidden people that she has offended, which are not coming openly, which might be doing one thing or the other in the in the background, but people don't know about. So we must be very very careful the way we talk about things that we know, things that we don't know. Do not comment when you are not sure of an issue. One thing more that I want to say again on this very issue that it is not about religion. Whatever your religion may be, traditional religion, you be a Muslim, you be a Christian, whatever you believe in, 
what happened in this scenario i think it is not about religion it is about individual attitude and character when you talk about it, you attitude of character, I'm talking about humanity. When you talk about human attitude, human feeling, the pastor who refuses to forgive her, it is his own business. This is his own personal issue. It is not about Christianity. Christianity preaches forgiveness, and Christianity is about forgiveness and nothing more. It's about forgiveness. So if somebody who claims to be a pastor decides not to forgive, that is his own personal business. That is his own personal business. He might have a reason for what he has said or why he's doing what he's doing as human. That is his own business. Do not attach that to Christianity. It is not about Christianity. This is about an individual. An individual and his own kind of life. His own kind of humanity. His own kind of feeling. That is why he, the Odumeje and the Rita, refused to forgive her. So it's left for them and their God and whatever they believe to judge on the side of the traditional religion also you look at the man he acted also according to his own humanity according to his own feeling somebody who has a human feeling it doesn't matter what you do to him it doesn't matter the way you offend him as soon as you come to his presence he forgive you and that's bygone is bygone he moves on with his life these are different kinds of people we have in this world and this kind of people we have them among the muslims we have them among the christians we have them among the traditional religions there are people um, in the christians that cannot forgive you when you offend them there are people among the traditionalists who cannot forgive you when you offend them there are also people among the muslims who cannot forgive you when you offend them in the other world around there are also some christians who can forgive you even when you did not come to apologize there are also traditional religion people who can forgive you even in your absence when you have not apologized. There are still Muslims who can forgive you even when you have not apologized. So let us not let us stop attaching this very problem to religion or whatever. It is not about religion, it's about individuals. It's about individuals. We have to learn how to act. Have to learn how to act. The lesson goes more especially to those of us who are bloggers, those who are online whatever you are not very sure of do not talk about it you can use the word allegedly but when you are very sure of your information firsthand you are free to say what you want to say and put it out there put it out there there are people who cannot forgive it doesn't matter what you do it doesn't matter how you cry even at the point of your death there are people who will not forgive you they rather let you die than forgive you that is why you have to be careful how you talk to people the people you talk to we are different human beings created by God in a different way, with different talents, with different gifts. Some forgive, some don't forgive. So you have to be very careful in everything you are doing in life. This is a lesson. It's a great lesson. We have to be careful. On the side of Odumeje and Rita who refuse to forgive, I wish that they can change their mind and forgive her. Nobody knows what we saw online is was that they said they will not forgive her no matter what. But at the back, maybe after that was shown online, they might go at the back and now repent on their statement and forgive her. It is possible. But what you see online is that they did not forgive. So let us not judge only with what we saw online. Though we can draw an example and lesson from what we saw online, but that might not be the end. There might be other things that are added into. Maybe after that very show at the church when the begging and the apology persists other people will give a call and reach out to them and eventually they might forgive they might forgive in the type of chi marine chi marine temple has done his own part perfectly well the way he's supposed to do the way every human being who has a human feeling has to behave chi marine has done just that she has gone there just as he said to his God that if she's come back, that he's going to do so, 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 so. She came back. She apologized. It, not even that she apologized. The parents apologized on her own behalf because she couldn't talk. She couldn't open up her mouth to say a word. That is one thing again. We have to be very careful what we say, how we say things. There might be things you might say. There might be an offense you commit. You will not even have the opportunity to apologize to people. That opportunity to open your mouth to apologize to those people you have offended might not be there. They might say that they have, off uh, have, have forgiven you, but there are some forgiveness that need an apology that must come out from your mouth. It doesn't matter even if the person says they forgive you. There are some forgiveness that you can inherit only when you open your mouth. 
to speak. But now, in this case of Father Jesus, she can no longer speak. She can't speak anymore. So it's only God um, that will take control and knows what is best and what is going to be the consequence at the end of it all. For those of us who are human and are still living, we are praying for her recovery. That Almighty God should help her to recover and make her to learn her lesson and never to behave in such manners again. And another thing again is her mother. All this while when things we are going on, the father wasn't in the picture. The father even said that he has not seen her or been with her for a very long time. He doesn't know what is going on. But the mother is fully aware of all the time she was abusing people and saying all sorts of things against people. And she never rebuked her. She never rebuked her. And why was the father out of the picture? Another lesson we have to learn. Two heads is better than one. Two heads is better than one. We have to be very careful in our various families to work in unity and make sure that we take care of our children together. Do the needful before it gets worse. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for joining me on this very episode. I will continue to bring you more information on things when they happen. Whenever we hear something, we're going to say something. Thank you and remember us. Bye-bye. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can join me on the comment section. Give your own opinion. Say your views. What do you think about the pastor? What do you think about the traditional man who has forgiven while the pastor refused to forgive? Whatever thing you have to say, any advice for the public and for the viewers, put it down in the comment section. I remember this. Bye-bye.